two episodes ago, you saw us talking about the Matrix Minnow fishing deeper flats in Florida. Now we're back in the Louisiana fishing shallower flats. And we're going to discuss the rip shad and why you want to use the rip shad when it's a little bit shallower. like eel grass is what we call it turtle grass kind of looks like the grass in your yard except for there's gonna be water over it this is a beautiful fish right here and what happens this time of year is you get a lot of high tides and it's perfect it, it, it covers this grass gives it like two or three foot Perfect for this rip shed to work right over it. And that's what these trout look for during this time of year with these higher tides. They use that grass and before they go to the bridges. Just gonna make real long cast with that rod tip down and switch it, pop, 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 and then pause it. Now what the rip shed does is it digs down two to four foot but when you pause it, it slowly rises up. That's why it's perfect to fish over these shallower beds where the minnow, the matrix minnow that we were using in Florida, when you rip, rip, pause that, it slowly sinks. So that's better for a deeper water presentation. Now, just depending on how much grass is here, depends if you could use the minnow or not. Probably so. The water sky high today. They could probably get away with the minnow, but we're going to do the rip shad as we showed the minnow at work while we were in Florida a few episodes back on Dockside TV. So let's see what the minnow can do. Fantastic bait for that September, October range. You do not want to leave jerk baits at home in the fall before it gets cold. Right when it sucks cooling off a little bit. This is the number one lure that we use is these jerk baits. speckled trout I've ever caught. Look at this. This little thing was trying to eat this. That'll tell you how aggressive speckled trout are right there. jerked it. I had a strike. I jerked it. And it just ripped out. So all I did was switch it one more time and then pause it. And then bam, either he hit it again or I'm sure they're running in little packs of four and five, you know. So if you miss one, just keep working that lure all the way back in. You get another one. Now depending on just how high the water is, kind of tells me how close I want to be to the bank. You know, so if the water's a little lower, I'm going to fish off the shore more. I want to make sure I'm still on the grass. And I'll fish off the bank a little bit more as they don't want to be in super shallow stuff. I'd say the magic depth 
is finding grass in like that two to five foot range. And as you can see, today we got socked in clouds. So it's hard for me to tell if I'm still on the grass or not. But I've fished this area enough to where I kind of know where it is and where it begins and where it ends and so on and so forth. But what I do on the sunnier days is I do a little bit more exploring because I can see into the water and I'll go find other grass beds try their stuff I can get a really good read on just how large a grass bed is when the sun's out because you can see into the water two three foot down and this time of year the water is typically really clean I really like jerk baits I really like jerk baits when the water's gin clear so you always want to use a fluorocarbon line we're using our matrix fluoro 15 pound test when we're doing this right here because uh, that water's gin clear these fish are a little smart and these jerk baits do a great job of faking them out so make sure you work that grass find you some grass this time of year common bycatch when you're doing this you know uh, bass love the grass too and the closer I find that I'm to the bank the more opportunity I have to catch the green trout the bass with them and that's what happened there all right prime example right there that's the type of grass like I said, it's like a, kind of looks like the grass in your backyard. Long, bladed grass. I call it eel grass. Same style of grass that I find myself fishing in Florida when we go. Speckled trout absolutely love that grass in the months of August, September, October. I mean, they love it year round if that's what they're on, but. That, that's all I'm looking for during these early fall months before it really gets cold. And there's plenty of grassy shorelines like I got it again. And that's part of it. You're going to be snagging it sometimes. That's all I look for during those months. And there's plenty of shorelines in the lake that have this. Plenty of shorelines in the lake and plenty of shorelines in Catherine. Lake Catherine it is. That's the little lake that between Bourne and Pontchartrain. There we go. Another keeper. Oh, oh man, I thought this was a white trout. Look how few of specks this fish has on it. The body of the fish pretty much has no specks. I could just see the specks on the tail. That is a crazy looking speckled trout right there. End it on this one. Let's try to be gentle with this one. This one's kind of close. We got plenty for dinner. Let this little guy go. But hope you enjoyed. Some, hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you learned something. We go over jerk bait fishing all the time. This time of year. You know, I got plenty of jerkbait videos out there. We love the Matrix Rip Shad. Remember, if it's a shallow flat Rip Shad, if it's a deeper flat, the Matrix Minnow. Make sure to subscribe to our uh, monthly bait box as we'll be giving out some of these Rip Shads, following up this video for your monthly bait box. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all these videos that we're 
talking about right now is we got plenty, plenty, plenty of them. And get out here for the fall, guys, before they get on the bridges, before it gets too cold. Make sure to um, get your jerk baits, bring your jerk bait box, get over these grass beds, and get on some fishing. It don't matter where you fish, where you fish coastally, this time of year, grass beds, anywhere from Texas to Florida. Very effective method of fishing, what you saw right here on Dockside TV. Until next time, guys, uh -oh. good fishing. Real listening.